Hi there and welcome to my channel City Logicals by Mary. Today I'm going to teach you a question that is uh, from uh, an Oxford course and you know it's you find very difficult while searching it on websites and I'm here to give you the answer of this. The question is a charred particle with a charred cube is lying in the face center of one of the faces of a cube. How much electric flux is given through the whole cube? Now let me tell you what is the Gaussian law for a surface. As you know Gaussian law is Gaussian law is the flux is equal to charge enclosed and that whole surfaced. Now what we find man you know when sometimes you do Google with that we don't find the exact answer of that. We find uh, the answer which is Q divided by 6 epsilon naught. For this question, you can do that as well, but the answer, it will give you the answer, the Google, and every website will give you the answer, Q divided by 6 epsilon naught, which is incorrect. Now, let me show you how. Okay, now, let's see what's the right answer. Okay, and now, let me tell you how the right answer is gained. You can see the six surfaces are not included in that case. You know, the charge, you know, I have showed it with this thing, a face. The charge is light in only one surface. Now, for my convenience, I've considered it in a second cube as well. It's for the supposition. This cube is for supposition and it is the original given cube of that. Now, the lines show the flux lines, which are only passing the half of the cube, you know, this half of the cube, and the other goes out of the cube. Now, we, for our convenience, have just considered another cube. It's not actually there. The original figure is that. Now, what will it will become? Though the surfaces will not be six, it will be the half. You know, half flux is going through the half cube. So the answer correct will be divided by 2 epsilon naught. Means it will be in a way written half Q epsilon naught. Okay? It will be half of the flux. You can also write it in a very formal way that half of the flux. The Gaussian law for that thing is like this is the correct answer for this question. Hope you will like and subscribe my channel for more videos and such type of studies articles. Okay, thank you.